fund some of those. But I see right now uh, there's a plumbing company that's been on market for a while that I'm interested in. And then a marine contractor, especially because of the storm, a lot of seawalls. No, you're good. Have you guys put together like the incubator for like the plug-in systems for those businesses to scale more quickly? I got something. So I've been trying to figure out kind of the best way to capitalize on the storm cleanup. And I was got registered with federal government again, renewed that. Uh, but getting into FEMA seems like it's been extremely challenging. And there's a ton of people extremely challenging. And there's a ton of people who say they can do it, but they don't seem like they're legitimate. So I've been having a challenge on that. And then the other side of that is even if you do get with FEMA, it's typically like 90 day of pay. And it seems like insurance. they're going to mm -hmm. pay and then they're going to go get reimbursed. Sure. So I would target the very affluent neighborhoods uh, for the storm work and um, literally door knock it and those types of go get paid. So he said, I'm going to go down there and make 300, 500,000 and we'll spend a few weeks and we'll put on 100 plus tarps a day. Show them on the technician. And then I really want to focus on ramping up my marketing uh, for the kind of clients that we want. Um, I've ran across that a lot. I, I I think the more important question you should probably be asking some of these companies that you're looking at is is like, what? How will we know the money you're putting that I'm paying you? I'm seeing a return on investment. How are you tracking that? Seeing a return on investment. How are you tracking that? Because I know there's a lot of marketing companies out there that they make all these promises, but they don't want to really track it for people because they're so worried about whether you know, what happens if they don't have success? So like, what, and I think there's immediate low hanging fruit changes that we can make to make this business go from 11 to 15 million. Right now, like one of the main ones I'm dealing with is a stupid workers comp insurance thing um, that I was telling you about. So it's not on board there. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. So over the course of the next few months, uh, by the first of the year, I hope to have, uh, you know, the new company basically completely up and running and then transfer everything over everything that I'm generating right now, uh, transfer all that to the new company. So small, small problems, man. I want big problems. It takes time because of applying for the license. Uh, this workers comp issue is it's causing a problem. Uh, you know, it makes us look totally fucking amateur. Cause I'm like, out of the meeting. That's why I was late to this with my CFO. And it's like, wants me to add some things in the system so we can get job costing dialed, you know, in with trap tracking labor costs and things like that. So